outdoor adventurer in the new year, Ryan Christopher. He's on the outlook for uh, a good fun ski season, right? Yeah, is that your unicorn space? That is. I feel like I'm constantly living in a unicorn space, whatever <laughs> 2022 is so far. But good morning to you, Ro. Uh, if you're looking to get out of the city and onto the slopes, here are some ideas for some nearby mountains that you can enjoy. Check it out. There was an outdoor boom last year, right? Because you couldn't do anything else because COVID kept people inside. Welcome to the storm. Editor and host of the Storm Skiing Journal, Stuart Winchester, says without capacity restrictions this year, you can expect longer lines on the slopes. I would recommend showing up very early, especially if you have kids. As a Brooklyn resident, Winchester has some recommendations for mountains nearby. For serious skiers, if you want a day trip from New York City, there's three that are pretty off the radar that don't tend to be very busy. Number one is Elk Mountain in Pennsylvania. This is gonna be about a two and a half to three hour drive from the city. Terrific terrain, does not feel like you're in Pennsylvania at all. Uh, number two would be Platykill Mountain up in the Catskills. It's right past Bel Air, it's about three hours from the city. It's family owned, it's the last family owned resort in the Catskills. It's got a, 1,100 feet of vertical, really steep, great terrain. Number three would be Berkshire East up in the, up in the Berkshires. This is a, a little known ski area. It's also family owned. It's right on the border with Vermont. It's a ton of snow. It does not feel like Massachusetts skiing at all. Lots of good tree skiing, bump skiing. Uh, so those would be my top three for experts. But you don't have to be an expert to have fun. There's plenty of snow to shred for beginners too. Number one is Mount Peter in Warwick, New York. They have uh, a series of magic carpets, very gentle terrain, a 200 foot vertical drop, very affordable rates, an army of ski instructors, a terrific little family ski area. Uh, number two would be Camp Gaw in New Jersey, also about a 200 foot vertical drop, very gentle slopes, uh, not quite as, um, as, as well known as Mount Peter, but it's another good option. Number three would be Thunder Ridge, upstate New York off of 684. Uh, you keep going up Highway 22, it's about an hour north of the city. Again, tremendous beginner programs, good carpets, some, some really fun, gentle terrain. Despite little natural snowfall this winter, so far, Winchester says that the snowmaking technology has given the slopes plenty of powder. And one more I want to mention, Ryan, because no one knows about this. It's, it's less than an hour north of the city. There's a ski area at West Point, owned and operated by the U.S. Army, that is open to the public, and you can get a lift ticket there for $32 on the weekends for adults. So, so no one knows about this place, but it's a nice little hill, nice 600-foot vertical drop, and you should definitely check it out if, if, you're, uh, if you're looking for something different. So it's a cool place to check out right near New York City, right in West Point. Only $32 if you're looking to hit the slope. So, Ro, we'll send it back over to you. There's your ski outlook for 2022.